I want I want to shift the conversation a little bit to the growth of the Lightning Network, um, and specifically, I want to talk about uh, some of the latest catalysts for growth that we've seen in the last year and how you view growth going forward. So, two catalysts: El Salvador and uh, Square or Cash App, both onboarded millions of of people to the Lightning Network. Right, we have. Um, El Salvador with now 4 million Chivo wallet users. Um, Square or Cash App has an estimated 70 million users, many of whom can now move their Bitcoin across the Lightning Network if they choose to. Um, And both of these kind of came as top-down moves that that Bitcoin's adoption in the last 12 months has primarily come from top-down initiatives, right? Those those big two. before that, you could argue that Bitcoin's adoption was primarily coming from bottom-up, organic, you know, word-of-mouth adoption. It was, it was just, it was hobbyists playing around. There still is that today, but it, it seems like it's been a bit of a shift between whether, whether or not growth is coming from bottom-up organic adoption or whether it's coming from top-down decisions made by companies or governments. Moving forward, do you think that Bitcoin and Lightning adoption is going to primarily come from these top-down decisions, or will we continue to see more like bottom-up uh, organic growth? Yeah, I, I understand that. Like you're really a master of, of uh, tough questions, so <laughs> that's that's another tough one. Uh, but um, uh, luckily, we we spent some time on uh, doing our research about. Um, what what is kind of like called hyper bitcoinization hyper bitcoinization is also something that uh well it kind of like has a definition but i i think it's still like evolving but okay let's say it's mass adoption of of, of bitcoin um so um and uh, the focus of our research was exactly to try and understand what uh what players and what factors can move the needle uh both in the top down and bottom up direction of, of Bitcoin adoption. And uh, what we're seeing in reality is actually there is movement in, in both directions. So um, there is now uh, Cash App and, and Twitter, and there is also El Salvador, but El Salvador kind of like started from the Bitcoin Beach project, which was almost like a bottom up. Um, and um, there is also with, uh, with, with a kind of like enterprise or top down approach, uh, there is some some risk or at least like some sentiment about a risk of uh, centralization. Like, for example, uh, is it like a custodial solution? Uh, how, how, how is it like controlled? Uh, how, how is it, uh, to what degree is it cent- centralized? And uh, what we've seen so far that uh, like c- c- centralized uh, entity can act faster and uh, can can move a needle uh, faster. Uh, but uh, what we want to have in the end, in the end, we probably want to have like a truly decentralized, uh, open, all-inclusive system where uh, anybody can participate or like enter the system and withdraw from the system based on his own choice. Um, and uh, this direction of adoption is also happening. Uh, but as it's happening organically, it's um, it's just it just happens as it happens unless there are some kind of like black swan events or uh, some kind of like really remember we talked about volatility so volatility kind of creates a learning experience because volatility creates pain and uh, volatility is not only about uh, Bitcoin price fluctuation it's it's also about like fiat price which is kind of like the reverse of, of, of Bitcoin fry, uh, price. So like a country with a volatile fiat currency can discover uh, Bitcoin uh, value proposition after a significant uh, drawdown in, um, in the exchange rate. Um, and uh, volatility also creates, uh, yeah, it just kind of like creates kind of like hard experience that accelerate learning. Um, so as we go through uh, the Bitcoin cycles, uh, the bottom-up uh, approach is also going to accelerate, uh, hopefully, 
because uh, the spikes and uh, drawdowns they create they 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 accelerate learning. They accelerate learning, and uh, learning is kind of like one of the ways to to promote the the bottom up uh, the bottom up adoption. Um, so I think at the end it's probably going to be like a combination of of, of both of them, and both of them has their uh, kind of like pros and cons. The top down approach has a pro that it just like happens and it can happen faster, as you said, El Salvador Cash App, but it also has an aspect of centralization. So we don't yet know how this aspect of centralization will evolve uh, over time in the ecosystem and how it can impact the ecosystem. But uh, the other side of the spectrum is also evolving. So there is more education uh, with uh, more events. Unfortunately, these are typically kind of like painful events, especially because the uh, money and monetary system is very conservative. People are not used to, um, to constantly seeking for a new solution in, in, in money. Money is like one of the, the things that people don't want to risk. And most people don't want to risk and they don't want to innovate with unless they are like hedge fund uh, people or, uh, or like uh, traders. Um, so uh, w w I think we, we are getting advances in both, both directions. And uh, it's how it converges all together. It's eventually like what is uh, what is like very exciting and uh, what will shape up like the, the big picture. Uh, so both both approaches are, uh, are 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 working.